Hey you, so I'm doing this video just to find out what the consensus is on owning a milk spotted coin. So I want to find out basically what your views are on owning or when will a milk spotted coin be acceptable within your stack. Now I say this because I've gone through my coins recently, just doing their monthly checkup and so forth, and a few more coins have popped up spotted. So I've gone to a phone to a couple of dealers and just try to find out basically what the general idea is with the spots where they stand on it and where i stand in terms of returning any coins i've got that are spotted back and i just thought i'd break down what's happened so i've called a dealer mentioned that i purchased a coin from them i've come back to it and it's been spotted and they've basically told me to find out whether it was the bu or the proof coin it was one of my proof coins and i've been told there's nothing they can do about that now hearing that and it was at a much later date. I knew that was the case, but I thought it was worth a pump. But it's interesting because none of the mints will basically step forward and address that. It's it's a problem that they, they're in control of. It's obviously they're not in control of it, and you can tell by their actions. At no time I can see now, this, the, I don't know how long this bottom problem has been around, but I've seen as far back as eight years now. But no mint is willing to say whether it be a proof coin or BU, but even for a proof, which is shocking, as I'll explain in a second, that they would give a 100% guarantee your coin is not going to milk spot up. Now, all the coins I've got in the background there, I'm gonna display as they have spots on, so you may be shocked by some, there's quite a few proof coins there. So basically, after coming off the phone to the dealer, I've, I've walked away understanding the mints themselves will not say that because they don't have a handle of the problem. The dealers will take back a proof coin if you're sent the coin defective. So if you purchase a proof coin, you receive it and you notice it's got a spot there and then, you can contact the dealer and a few other dealers I spoke with about this and they wouldn't have a problem replacing or refunding the coin for you. Now on a BU coin, that's a different story. As BU coins are sold with knowledge that they're they're not to be they're not collector coins basically so they're gonna have imperfections. Now with that, here's where the problem lays for some. Now this one I want to find out um, when is a proof coin acceptable within your stack. I've come to accept it and I'll break down a little bit why. The spots can manifest over a period of time. So I've I've seen situations and videos where people have stated they've purchased a coin, whether it be slabbed or not slabbed and at a later date is spotted. So knowing that we or anybody is technically purchasing a coin with a 50-50 chance of it spotting and now it's not something you can avoid. There's, there is no 100% preventative measures out there to stop your coin from spotting. So that alone is the first hurdle you need to get over when, you, when you're picking a coin and you wanna find out who are not such serious offenders when it comes to spotting. I mean, the information's out there and I'll break down which coins or which mints I've had personal problems with and at the end of this. So with that in mind, I can see for a collector of coins, purely for a collector, collecting for the purpose of collecting, regardless of price, a spotted coin never being acceptable because they want the perfect thing. And especially if the collector's into slabbing or collect slab coins. So. How, do, how would a collector view that, knowing that the coin they have, whether if it's a modern one, can spot up at any time? That, that's the problem here. So I wanna know, I mean, obviously it does murder your resale profits that you can make at a later date, but at some point, I, I, and I, we can get there in five and less years, all the, the coins now, unless you're into gold or poured silver and so forth, will have a 50-50 chance of spotting. I mean, we don't know how long it takes for the spots to manifest and show up out of nowhere. I mean, some people have had a coin and it's been over six months, a year later, and pull for spot. So you can't really sell a coin and say it will 100% not spot. You can say it hasn't spotted since you've owned it and you may have owned it for a couple of years. And this is what I walked away knowing after I spoke with the dealer. So technically a spot can turn up any time. A dealer will refund your money or replace the coin. Let's get into some of these. If you bring it to their attention there and then. But if it's a coin that manifests over a period of time, well then you're in a bit of a bother. Now I've come to grips with it. I, I don't, I've never been the meltdown type. If you can see this spot, for those that don't know what the spot is, 
you see it's on the branch just there now this spot i noticed on another youtuber's video rocks i believe and he also had the spot in the exact same place now i purchased three of these at the time and i had intended to get back onto the dealer but it, it obviously wasn't that much of a bother for me to have not done that now <clears throat> this is a fairly modern coin so come resale time unless if it, does, if it is on the secondary market i've never tried selling a collector coin back to a dealer with an imperfection like this that will be interesting to see but it's going to be regarding selling the secondary market if i was selling i would take as clear shots as possible label it sold as seen and then leave that down to the buyer personally because you can you can kill somebody that, that a potential buyer that it may not have been a massive problem to if you're highlighting such a massive problem and is it that massive this is what i'm trying to find out because it's a problem that is not 100 percent avoidable and may not happen to your coins if you understand what i'm saying so taking another <coughs> look at a proof coin this is the horse i've done a video of a load of these when i first got them and you can see there there's another spot there and so these and here's another thing especially if you're like extremely meltdown to find a spot i wouldn't write off all of your coins being spot free from from iShot because you really need to get your coins especially your proof coins under a loop before you can officially give them the, the all clear because at iShot a lot of these especially under the capsules can look clear so if you see that there's a spot just up there while i'm shaking everything around just up there so there's another coin spot now these are proof coins from a very reputable mint so it's just proof that <laughs> no coins are exempt when it comes to spotting and it's a it's a problem that's out there but i'm i'm, I'm a lot more lax to it now i mean these are uh, habitual offenders especially come from the perth mint a lot of times you're going to see like stains or spots on the on the outer rim there i don't know if that's just a fingerprint but these are 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 badly spotted these are bu coins even though they fall under under collector category um a dealer you may have a problem sending these back to a dealer because the, see the dealers are viewing these as not a, a meltdown otherwise they would be sending them back to the mints so it's a problem where dealer and mint have no problem passing them on to you unless it's a very very limited coin like the thousand two ounce coins you're getting from the two ounce lunar sets i mean you get those straight away if you find a problem you send them back but i don't know this is why i'm saying it's out there and when is it acceptable for you for me these have become it's it's part of the market it's going to be very interesting to see <coughs> How they fare out when a large group of people decide to resell and a large group of new collectors come in so if you look at this this is a two ounce proof coin you can see the spotting down at the bottom there. i'm gonna see if i can try and open this up now this set was purchased off of a dealer at a reduced price but i wouldn't know how to resell this now it's just sitting in my collection so looking at that on a proof coin now something there's degrees to spotting and this is coming along up there in the seven eights i mean that's bad it's not just a one little spot i mean a coin like that that's absolutely ruined there's nothing you can do about that so do you pass that on i've seen videos and i'm not one of these individuals that is desperately hunting down say for instance a season uh, a lunar one coin and come across one and look past any imperfection that it may have i've seen individuals that have been looking for coins like that and when i've seen the coin the coin's been spotted or it's had a tone in a very very bad tone toning mm, spotting is 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 a straight up imperfection and i know for a fact they paid a premium for that coin because it was it was so rare and they look past any and all problems so that's the point i'm trying to make at is it really a uh, be all end all is it a spot turns up that's it game over you're dead bang i mean this was purchased on the secondary market and it was it was a throwaway price i didn't even know what the coin was i got it for a very low price and you look at the condition i mean this is this no one's saving that i don't know that's just a capsule 
it's definitely not just a smudge markup it's, it's been handled so it's not bloody murder so it is a proof coin it's a PA4 double the thickness but once again that's from the real mint now even the habitual offenders like the real Canadian mint people have sworn by them that their proof coins don't suffer what their BU coins do but I beg to differ so just putting this out there looking at these I'd say I want to I want to see what the consensus is and find out when is a proof coin acceptable in your stack well excuse me when is a spotted milk spotted coin acceptable in your stack and looking at these I mean we all know how bad the raw mint are but these coins have been a massive hit and that's with individuals knowing the problems they suffer from so I mean if you if you got into this whenever this video is viewed five years from now and the series is on a bit and this comes up on one of the secondary markets any bidding site and you see it and you see it exactly advertised like this a picture of this and a picture of that and a price I could understand if you have intention to slab in the coin. That's the, and that's that's another part of the whole collector market slabbing. If you was gonna slab the coin straight away, I can see that never being acceptable as you're never gonna get top marks. But short of that, it has to become acceptable at some point because that's just where we are at the moment. We can all say let's march with our feet or let's show them how we feel about this, but it's not a matter that the mints and dealers seem to be taken seriously. And a lot of people must be buying these with these kind of defects. So it'd be real interesting to find out which coins that you guys have owned and have spotted up. And which coins you own have spotted up that you still refuse to get rid of. Or if you've sold a coin, a spotted coin, and then seen it go on to sell for more. Look at that. I mean, this is the Royal Mint feud. This, that's nothing special from the Royal Mint. So hey, I love it guys. Let me know what you think about this. It would be greatly appreciated if you subscribed. And I'll catch you guys on the rebound.